I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. This is Matt once again. Welcome back to another review, and this is another PayPal request from Guillermo. Thank you so much. If anyone's ever interested in requesting reviews or re reviews or pretty much any type of video, you could either do so directly via my PayPal or join me on my Patreon. The links to both will be down below in the info box. If not, no worries. But uh, one of the films he wanted me to review was The Horseman from 2008. Uh, overall, I thought this was a pretty decent film. It's a revenge story where a father, he's very deep in pain to the point that he's even self-harming himself. And that's not laughing, that's like disbelief. But I gotta say, that's not really something I've seen a lot in revenge films where they actually try to self-harm. It's not a big part of the film, but it's something he does and someone even asks him about it. He talks about how most of the time he's in a daze and it helps him feel something. So I do think that the acting is on point, especially the lead guy. I do think this is this is not a revenge film in the vein of a fun, entertain a revenge film. To me, this is a better version of say the brave one. Like the brave one with Jodie Foster. Like one of those revenge films like trying to have a deeper meaning. And, but I thought this one handled it better. I, I thought it was more gritty, more, definitely more violent than say the brave one. It, it does make a case about loss and what if you're not able to deal with that loss and you have this anger as you lash out. And pretty much his daughter has passed away. He finds out that his daughter, from f having this videotape, that she was part of this porn shoot. So she's going to each of these people. Because I guess when she was found, they found her with drugs in her system, as well as, I think, semen or something. I, I can't remember exactly. But So the father's adamant to find out what the hell happened. And on one hand, you kind of feel bad for the guys he's going after because of how he just beats the fuck and tortures some of these perpetrators. I, I went that way because these people consistently keep saying she chose to be there. It was her choice to be there. We didn't make her be there. So no one forced her to do anything. So in essence, his daughter was not this little angel. So part of you is like, yeah, some of these people are creeps, but do they really deserve what the hero is, is doing? Or can't even say hero, but usually I, I'm one of those type of guys that I like my revenge movies straightforward, where there's the evil motherfuckers, here's the... For some people, they use the word fantasy. I don't know if that's really the... That seem like a poor choice of words to use, but in a way it is. Where, yeah, in real life, you, you do not want to do that. <laughs> a, because it's illegal. But B, because there's a difference between movies and real life. You see it in a movie, it's different how you would view it in real life. 
if the, if that made sense. But that's why I go towards say Death Wish three or I'm trying. There's plenty of revenge films out there that I've enjoyed. You know, back in the day, you killed my master. It's time to die. You killed my friend. Now I'm gonna fuck you up. A lot of the films I enjoy are revenge. I mean, Hills of Eyes remade. The second half of that film is pretty much a revenge movie. You killed the wife. You killed my wife. You killed the mother of my baby. I'm going to fuck you up. But I would say, again, aside from at times a little bit of a shaky camera during a fight scene, this was handled fairly well because... Like I said, the actor, the main actor was definitely on point. There's definitely some intense, brutal moments. Whether our lead guy smacked two people in the face with a cool bar. Or you see, you get the idea enough, but it doesn't go too far. What do I mean by that? You get the idea that he's torturing one guy with fish hooks. That you could guess where. But you don't see any details, if that makes sense. Or at one point, he's torturing, I'm not sure if it's the porn director, or I forget who, uh, what his status was. But he uses, the lead guy uses a pump on his dick. But you don't see it, you, you get the idea of it. So the part of you is like, yeah, these guys are creeps. But then there's a part of me that goes, well, do these guys 100% deserve this? Because if they keep saying she was not forced to do anything. So it is that maybe that's what the director's intention is. I don't know. I've never talked to the director. I've never met the director. And there's a other subplot where he does pick up a young runaway and they form a bond. And I thought those were nice scenes because the both actors, actor and actress, play their roles idea fairly well and genuine. There are times when he's on these missions of his and he gets in a brawl with someone. And again, while the camera does a little bit of this, it's not too much. And there's some nice visceral moments where he fucks a guy up with a weight. Like a, I'm not sure if it was a barbell. He's slicing people's necks. Or killing people with hammers. At one point, it hits someone with fucking flower pots or using pipes. In a way, it's kind of weird because in the second half of the film, to give spoilers starting now, it takes kind of, it, it does kind of take a turn in my opinion in the second half because in the second half of the film, number one, he does something nice where, yeah, he's, he's beating up this guy, but he clearly sees that this guy really didn't do anything that wrong and the lead is keeps saying you could have done something and the guy keeps going she chose to be there please please I have a daughter I have a daughter and he does let the guy go and you get some really nice acting where I don't know if he's trying to talk to the guy or talk to himself as to why he's doing all this uh, again, I thought it was a nice, I don't know if character study is, would be a too big of a word for this movie, but if it, if it was used, uh, I wouldn't be aghast at, you use that with this kind of movie? And he does let the guy go. So I thought, okay, cool, there's a little bit of humanity to this guy, and he's doing this because of not be able to deal with the loss and rather the people who deal with are creeps and creepazoids but again but then also after that 
he's caught and the lead guy's caught, the lead guy's tortured by these people that I want to say they deal with drugs as well as uh, this porn industry. I, I try to remember. And these are clearly bad guys. So it's not a gray area. This is clearly these are bad guys. So that's what I mean. Like in the first half of the film, he's the only people that, oh, maybe a gray area. And then at the end, maybe that was on purpose so that the final battle would be by people who are clearly bad people. I mean, they even taken the runaway and ready to murder her, even though she didn't do anything. But he's able to get, you know, he's been able to take care of some business, including with some sledgehammers, so to speak. So it's definitely a brutal, visceral, I don't know why this almost makes me go. This is what the guy, the director, did brawl at Cell Block 99 in those movies. While I did not hate that film, this seems like that type of movie, but done better. You know, a bit better paced. Again, I don't think that was a bad movie. I reviewed the film, but this one I would say I liked more. I don't know why it reminded me of that. It's not the same plot, but. I would say if you like well-acted, gritty, brutal revenge films and just go on expecting it's not going to be The Punisher, it's not going to be Death Wish 3, it's not that kind of revenge movie, but I do think it's much better than a film like The Brave One with Jodie Foster or that type of flick where I did not think it was putting a message how dare you? How dare you? Bad, bad, bad. It wasn't doing that. It didn't. I didn't feel like a lecture. I didn't feel like the movie was lecturing me on anything, on any messages or anything. This is stuff I picked up on my own. And if you don't want to go on that route, it's a guy who wants to fire a weapon to his daughter, dealing with some people who may be scum, may not be scum. Again, I thought the, the lead guy did a really good job acting wise. I saw this for free on 2B TV. I don't know if it's on there now, but yeah, I think if you're into revenge films, this is definitely worth a look. And I, I quite liked it. I thought it was pretty damn good. But hey, maybe that's just me. But with that said, thanks for watching. Take care and we will see you in the next video. Later.